Look, Rohan. Peros are pecking at the grain over there. Yes, Lata. This park is echoing with the chirps of different birds. Look over there. Two parrots are perched on that tree. They are bright green in color with attractive red beaks. Come, let's look for more birds in the garden. With a royal crown on its head, there walks a peacock. Do you know the peacock is a national bird? Yes, I remember our teacher sharing this in the class. There is a hole in the trunk of that tree. Observe, an owl is sleeping inside it. Yes, Rohan. And there are a beautiful bird is pecking at the trunk of a tree. Do you know its name? No, I don't know its name. <laughs> But I know. Nature, nature fairy. fairy. <laughs> yes, children. I'm your nature fairy. and that bird is called a woodpecker dear, dear fairy, fairy please, please tell us more, more about, these, about birds. these birds sure i will first tell me the names of some birds you see around you crow, crow pigeon, pigeon sparrow parrot eagle peacock vulture very good children birds are of many types Some birds like an eagle fly really high in the sky. Some like the peacock are only able to fly for short distances. The largest bird in the world, the ostrich, is incapable of flight. Similarly, a penguin which lives in very cold regions is also unable to fly. Very look, the pair of parrots are taken off from the tree. The feathers are so beautiful. Yes, these feathers lend beauty to the birds. Feathers are of different colors and they help a bird in flying. They also help a bird stay warm. Time to time birds shed their feathers and new ones grow in their place. If you ever find some fallen feathers, pick them up and paste them in your notebook and then try to guess which bird they belong to. Fairy Why are the beaks of different birds shaped differently? Wow, well observed Rohan. The beaks of different birds are shaped according to their eating habits. A sparrow's beak is short and sharp, which helps it in pecking at grains. Carnivorous birds like falcon and eagle have curved beaks, which help in catching and tearing at the flesh of their prey. A heron's beak is long which helps it catch fish from water. Wow, we never thought like this. Each bird also makes a distinct sound. A sandpiper makes a sound of tee tee, a crow cows. Some birds seem like singing and some sound like whistling. Okay, now tell me, what kind of a sound does a pigeon make? Kutelgu. Ha ha ha. Absolutely right. And parrot is a bird which can talk in human voice. That is why some people keep it as a pet. Yes, my grandmother had a parrot. It was called Mittu and it repeated everything that my grandmother said. She never kept Mittu in a cage. She believed that dear creatures of the open sky should not be caged very well said lata thanks for sharing this wonderful thought there are several more interesting facets of birds but let's close our lesson for today now quickly tell me what all did we learn today today we learned about the various types of birds some which fly high some which can only fly for a short distance and some which cannot fly at all the feathers of a bird help it fly we also learned that the beaks of the different birds are shaped differently depending upon the eating habits of the bird very nice children okay bye for now come and meet me again tomorrow to learn about a few more birds <laughs>